there. Thank you for joining me. You've made it back to your mat. I'm so pleased that you're here with me and we're going on this journey together. So today is our signature flow practice, which we're going to do twice a week. So we're going to be repeating a practice, um, yeah, two times a week. And each week we're just going to be building on that practice. And so the signature class is really about following more of a classical yoga structure, like a yoga class st structure. So we'll do a little bit of a warm up and then we'll move into a Surya Namaskar sun salute sequence um, and we'll do a bit of a seated practice and then, you know, working into a little bit of uh, an inversion practice as the weeks go on as well. And so you'll have all the options. So as we go on, always feeling really free to... Um, to take an option that you've done one of the previous classes um, and of course giving the additional challenges a go as well you can, might surprise yourself. Um, for this class you might want to have a block that could be handy it's up to you if you've got something um, around to use. Uh, just say one more thing before we get right into it. I mean, what I really love about a class that you repeat is uh, you start to, you know, you might notice how your body changes from day to day um, and you might notice that you've progressed or you might notice that you really need to pull back. It might be something that you normally feel really good in, but one day it's just, it's a little bit different. And it just kind of shows us how our bodies just change day to day. And there's no, we're really not trying to get anywhere. You know, we use our bodies and we come back to the body and breath and it gives us uh, all these resources that we can draw on in our everyday lives and that's the most important part of the practice. So just enjoy, enjoy the practice and, yeah, let's get comfortable and make a start. When you're ready, we're going to start in our child's pose. <clears throat> so bringing the big toes together opening the knees out wide and then just starting to walk your hands out. And just for the beginning, let's um, stack one pan on top of the other and rest the forehead down onto the hands. You can close the eyes. You're starting to feel into the body and feel into the breath. Noticing just where you're at right now. And however you are is absolutely fine. And let's check in with our sankalpa or intention. So our sankalpa is our resolve that we want to think of in the present tense. It might be for today's practice, it might be for the whole challenge, or it might be for something else that's just happening in your life, something you want to work on. repeating it to yourself three times. And then when you're ready, let's extend those arms out long. Starting to lengthen out through both sides of the waist. Taking a big breath in through the nose and then out through the nose. Just one more time like that, inhaling and exhaling. And then coming up into your tabletop position, setting up the wrists underneath the shoulders spreading through the fingers, knuckles pressing down and moving into your cat-cow. 
It's like extending through the spine, tips of the shoulders back, lifting the eyes, inhale, and then exhale to go the other way. C curving through the spine, tucking the tailbone under, tucking the chin in. Just continue, just moving at a pace that feels good for you. Maybe a little bit faster, a little bit slower. Just trying to notice which part of the spine you're moving through. And finishing off your last one. Coming back into your neutral spine and then taking this right leg back, keep the leg parallel, lifting that right leg up and you might want to extend that left arm away at the same time. Taking an inhale to lift the leg, lift the arm and then exhale, curl in, draw that knee in, draw the elbow in and then again inhale, extend out, lifting the eyes and then exhale. Curling everything in nice and tight. And then one more time, inhale. And exhaling. Keep the leg off, place that left hand down. Extend that right leg back, placing the outer edge of the right heel down. And then kick stand this left leg out, peeling open that right arm up towards the ceiling. Inhale. And then exhale, bringing that right arm up and over the side of the, the head. And your eyes can look up towards the ceiling. Reaching out through the top fingers, taking one more big breath in. And then as you exhale, bringing that right hand back down, making your way back into your tabletop position, tucking the toes under, press back into down facing dog. Inhale, and then exhale to walk your hands back towards your feet, bend the knees here, drop the hips down, take a spinal roll to come all the way up to standing. Interlace the hands at the base of the head, using the hands to lengthen up through the neck, lift the sternum, drop the tailbone down, take an inhale, lifting the eyes, and then exhale. C curve through the spine, spinal roll all the way down, release the arms. Take an inhale into your halfway lift, hands can come to the shins, and then exhale, fold. Walk your hands back out into your down facing dog. Just taking a breath. And then coming back down into your tabletop position. Once again, release the tops of the feet down. Take that left leg back, right arm up, left leg up. Inhale, lift the leg, lift the right arm. Exhale, curling in, draw the navel in. And then again, inhaling and exhaling. And again, inhale and exhale. Placing the right hand down, take that left leg back, come down onto the sole of the foot and kickstand that right leg out behind you. Take the left arm up towards the ceiling, inhale and then exhale. Take that left arm up and over the side of the head. Just opening up through that left side body, pressing down through the outer edge of that left foot. One more inhale and then exhale, turning in back into your tabletop position. Tuck the toes under, press back into your down facing dog. Inhale, exhale, walking your hands back towards your feet, drop the heels down, take a spinal roll to come up to standing. Interlace the fingers at the base of the head, lifting the sternum up, inhale, drop the tailbone down, and then exhale, C curving through the spine. Rolling all the way down, release the arms. Take an inhale into your halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Bend the knees, walk your hands out into your down facing dog. Taking an inhale, staying for the exhale. Walking your feet forward up towards the top of the mat. You can bring your feet hip distance apart or together, just your choice. And just letting the head relax, soften through the knees. Take a spinal roll to come all the way up to standing. Turn the palms face forward. Look up towards the thumbs and then exhale. Bring the hands down. Just come into your prayer position in front of the chest. Just taking a moment here. It's really grounding down through the feet. And you can either go straight ahead or just towards the tips of the fingers for now. Thinking about grounding down through the base of the big toe, the little toe, outside edge of the heel, inner edge of the heel. 
Release the hands down by your sides, palms facing forward, coming into your Tadasana. Sweep the hands out, lift the eyes up towards the thumbs, take a big inhale as you ground down through the feet. Exhale, folding forward into your Uttanasana, feeling free to bend the knees here as much as you need to. Let the head be relaxed. Take an inhale into your halfway lift, fingers can stay down or can come to the shins. And then exhale to step this right leg back, dropping the right knee down, top of the right foot down, coming into this low lunge or Anjaniyasana position here. One full breath. Tuck the back toes under, lift the right knee off. So lift through the belly as you step back into your plank position. Finding your plank, press the mat away from you. Let the gaze be up towards the top edge of your mat. Keep the back of the neck long. Reaching the heels back, taking an inhale. Exhale, come down onto the knees, release the tops of the feet down and elbows point straight back as you lower yourself down onto the mat. Bring those hands just underneath the shoulders, squeeze the elbows in, coming into your baby cobra, pressing down through the tops of the feet. Keep reaching that tailbone back in between the feet. You might be able to lift your hands off, just make sure there's not too much weight on your hands. Feel free to bring them back down. Think about 20% weight into your hands, elbows squeezing in. Taking one more, inhale, exhale. Come through your tabletop position back into your down facing dog. Let's take three breaths here in our down dog. Steady the gaze in between the feet. Press down through the outer edges of the hands and the inner edges of the hands. Growing through both sides of the waist. Rise up onto the balls of the feet slightly so you can take this right leg up into your three-legged dog. Keep the leg parallel. Inhale. Exhale, stepping it forward in between the hands, feeling free to shuffle that foot forward as much as you need to, dropping that left knee down. Release the top of the left foot down. Gazing slightly forward to keep the back of the neck long. Tucking the back toes under. Lift that left knee off, stepping forward, Uttanasana, let the head relax down. Inhale to press down through the feet to come all the way up to standing. Palms and hands come together. And then exhale, forward fold, Uttanasana. Relax the back of the neck. Inhale, Ardha Uttanasana. Exhale, fold and step that left leg back, dropping that left knee down. Release the top of the left foot down, taking an inhale. Exhale, tucking the back toes under, stepping back into your plank position. Take an inhale to hold here. Exhale, knees down, tops of the feet down, elbows point straight back, lowering yourself down. And then inhale up into your baby cobra. Kneecaps lift off, squeeze the elbows in, taking one more inhale. Exhale, press back through tabletop, tuck the toes under. Down facing dog. Just a few breaths here. If you do need to keep the knees slightly bent here and just feeling free to do so, think about drawing the quadriceps up if you can. Navel drawing in. Smooth breath in and out through the nose. So rising up into the ball's feet to take that left leg up into your three-legged dog. Inhale, exhale, stepping it forward in between the hands, dropping that right knee down, release the top of the right foot down. Inhaling, exhale, tuck the back toes under and stepping forward, Uddhanasana. Inhale, coming back up, Uddhvahastasana, palms and hands together, exhale back. Just coming into Tadasana for a moment. If your feet aren't together, bring your feet together. Release the arms down by your side. Bend through the knees and sweep up into your Utkatasana. Arms up. They can be shoulder distance apart or you can bring the palms and hands together. Sit a little bit deeper if you can and shift the weight back into the heels. Eyes can look up towards the thumbs. Find the breath. Take an inhale. Exhale, folding down. 
Uttanasana. Relax the head. Take an inhale. Halfway lift. Exhale, stepping that right leg back. Drop down to the right knee. Release the top of the right foot down. Sweeping the arms up into your low lunge here. Taking an inhale, lift the eyes. And then exhale, circle the arms back behind you. And if you can, fingers pointing up onto the back of the pelvis. Use your thumbs to drop the tailbone down, shift the hips slightly forward, squeeze the elbows in, lift the eyes. Taking an inhale, exhale to release the hands down. Taking one more in breath, chest reaching forward and then exhale to straighten into this left leg, walking your hands back, flexing the left foot towards the face. Taking another in breath here and then exhale, folding down into this Ardha Hanumanasana. Trying to draw that left quadricep up, left hip crease back. And then bending into that left leg, walking your hands forward, tuck the back toes under, lift the knee off, draw the navel in as you step this left foot back into your plank position. Taking an inhale, exhale, knees down, tops of feet down, elbows point straight back. And then inhale, either your baby cobra or your higher cobra. Keep pressing down through the tops of the feet, elbows squeeze in, take an inhale, exhale, back through tabletop, tuck the toes under. Down facing dog, just taking one breath now. Rise up into the balls of the feet, take that right leg up, three legged dog, inhale. Exhale, stepping it forward in between the hands. Plant that left heel down and coming up to standing straight legs. Palms, the hands facing down. So coming, we're getting ready to go into our Trikonasana here. Shoulders over the hips to begin with. Left toes pointing slightly uh, in towards that left corner of the mat. Inhale. As you exhale, lengthening out through both sides of the waist. And either hand above the knee, below the knee or onto your uh, ankle. If you've got your block, this is somewhere where you can use your block. And if it's comfortable to do so, turning the eyes to look up towards that top hand. Once you're in position, steady the gaze and find your breath. Keep drawing that right quadricep up, pressing down through the outside edge of that left foot. Turn the eyes to look down towards that right big toe and then coming back upright, inhale. Walk this left foot out just about a foot to lengthen your stance and bring the legs down into your warrior two legs. And then take another in breath, exhale, Uthita Pashvakanasana, so our extended side angle. Either forearm down, or you could take the hand to the block or take this right hand down to the inner edge of that right foot. If it's comfortable to do so, let's turn the eyes to look up towards that uh, left upper arm, looking towards the ceiling. Reaching out through the left fingertips. Keep pressing down through the outside edge of that left foot. One more breath. Press down through the feet to come back up through your warrior two and into your reverse warrior. Left hand light on the back leg, right arm up. Inhale, exhale to cut all the hands down. Come onto the ball of the left foot and stepping forward. Uttanasana, feet together if you can. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Bend through the knees, sweeping up Utkatasana. Inhale. And then exhale, releasing down into your Tadasana. Let's go again. Bending the knees, sweeping up, Utkatasana. Inhale, exhaling. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale to step that left foot back, coming down to the left knee. Release the top of the foot down. Inhaling the arms up. As you exhale, circle the arms back. Place the hands, fingers pointing up onto the back of the pelvis, shifting the hips forward as you keep scooping up through that lower belly. 
Elbows in, lifting the eyes. Inhale. And then exhale, releasing down. Taking one more inhale here. And then exhale to start to strain this right leg to where you can, walking your hands back. Take an in breath. And then as you exhale, just folding down just to where you can. Flex the right toes towards the face. Thinking about drawing that right hip crease back. Use your breathing here to meet that rising sensation. And then let's bend into that right leg, tuck the back toes under, lift the left knee off and step back into your plank position. Take an inhale, exhale, knees down, release the tops of the feet down and lower all the way down. Inhale, baby cobra or your higher cobra, back through tabletop into down facing dog. Taking one full breath here. Rising up into the balls of the feet. Take that left leg up, three-legged dog. Inhale. Exhale, stepping it forward. Plant that right heel down. Coming upright, shoulders over the hips. Taking an inhale and then exhale. Lengthen out through both sides of the waist. Hand above the knee, below the knee or onto the ankle. So coming into your trikonasana. If it's okay to do so, Eyes looking up towards that top hand. Thinking about lifting away from this bottom hand so you could lift that hand off if you need to. And that might not be possible right now, but you kind of want to work towards that, trying to lighten the load from that bottom arm. Draw that left kneecap up. Turning the eyes to look down towards that left big toe. Coming back up right, inhale. And then walk this right foot out, just lengthening the stance a bit and coming into your warrior two legs and then coming into your side angle. Right arm up and over. If you could have your hand on a block or bring it all the way down. Again, steady the gaze. And if you're not looking up towards the ceiling, you can just look straight ahead or you could even look down. Ground down through the feet and then on the next inhale, coming into reverse warrior, right hand light on the back leg, open up through that left side body. And then as you exhale, cartwheel the hands down. Framing the front foot onto the ball of the right foot and stepping forward into Uttanasana, feet together. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Bend through the knees, coming into Utkatasana. Inhale, and then exhale, releasing the arms down into your Tadasana. Open the feet out into uh, hip distance apart. <clears throat> and then hands come to the waist. We're going to press the hips down as we lengthen up through both sides of the waist. Inhale. As you exhale, folding forward at the hips. So we're reaching for our big toes with our first two fingers. Holding on there. If you can't hold on to there for any reason, you can just hold on on the outsides of the legs wherever you can. Take an inhale to lengthen out through both sides of the waist. And then as you exhale, bend the elbows out to the side. We're coming into our Padangushtasana, lifting the muscle at the base of the neck away from the ears. When you can, start to engage the quadriceps, lifting the kneecaps up and shifting the weight slightly forward onto the balls of the feet. And then take another in-breath, lengthen out, halfway lift. Either repeat or if you can, coming into your Padahastasana. So stepping onto the, the palms of the hands, 
toes up towards the wrists when you're ready. Folding down. Trying to bring the belly towards the thighs. Smooth, easy breath. And then taking an inhale into your halfway lift. Exhale, release the hands out. If you can, just bend the knees and palms flat down. Step back into just a half down dog. So we're not going all the way. And then coming down onto the knees, knees together, feet together, finding your Japanese cedar position. Cupping the left hand into the right, tips of the thumbs lightly touching, closing the eyes for a moment. Picturing the length of the spine. Just observing the breath. And let's blink open the eyes. Just sitting over to one side, extending the legs out long, finding your dandasana. So pressing down through the backs of the legs, palms, the hands pressing down, chin just slightly tucked in. Just a couple of breaths here. And then let's sweep the arms up, taking an inhale, and then exhale, folding forward, holding on outsides of the calves, ankles, or edges, outside edges of the feet. Taking another inhale here to lengthen out through the spine, draw the quadriceps up, and then folding down once again. Thinking about the crown of the head, reaching forward, sternum reaching forward. Slowing down the breathing here. And then taking an inhale, coming back upright, releasing those hands. Take the hands back about a forearm's distance behind you, fingers pointing forward. Option here to bend the knees and come up into your reverse tabletop, if that is better for you. If you can and you want to keep the legs straight, you can keep the legs long and then lifting up here into Purvottanasana, pressing down through the inner edges of the feet and the balls of the feet. If it's okay to do so, letting the head relax back. Keep lifting the hips up. One more inhale. And then as you exhale, bring the head up, lowering the hips all the way down and coming back upright. Opening the legs out wide. So we're gonna come into our Upavishta Konasana. You don't have to have it too wide, so feeling absolutely free. Just find uh, the openness that feels like it's going to work for you today. And we'll just take a few moments just upright. You can creep up a little bit higher onto those sitting bones, lifting out of the waist. And this might be plenty for you, but if you would like to, bringing the hands forward, taking an inhale, and then exhale, starting to walk your hands out to where you can. And you might come down onto your forearms or even be able to go a bit further. But just press down through the backs of the legs, keeping the toes flexed and pointing up towards the ceiling. In these moments of quiet, just noticing body sensation, trying to stay with the breath and what's happening right here. This last couple of breaths here. And then when 
you're ready, starting to walk the hands back up. Just using your hands, bringing the legs together. And then bending the knees up, hands behind the thighs, taking an inhale. As you exhale, start to roll down onto your back, all the way down, bringing the feet in a little bit closer towards the hips, feet parallel. Take a moment, just lying down on your back. And inhaling, as you exhale, let's uh, roll the spine all the way up into your Setu Bandhasana. So pressing down through the inner edges of those feet and you might just place the palms flat down. If you'd like to interlace the hands underneath the back, creeping up a little bit high onto the tips of the shoulders if you can. The knees tend to want to fall outwards here. So press down through the base of the big toes, lifting the sternum towards you. Towards the face, I should say. Taking one more inhale, and then exhale to release those arms, unfurling the spine all the way down. And then just taking a moment, open the feet out as wide as the mat, let the knees drop in together, you can close down the eyes. And then bringing the feet back so they're hip distance apart. Crossing that right leg over the left and then lifting the hips up and take them slightly over to the right. Option here to wrap that right foot underneath and then lifting the feet off so you can take the legs over to the left, coming into this twisted root twist. Opening that right arm out to the side and eyes can look over to the right. Just feeling free to close down the eyes. Right, shoulder blade heavy. And then inhaling to come back through centre, unravel the legs. And then let's go uh, the other way. So crossing that left leg over, lifting the hips and slightly over to the left. Option to wrap the left foot behind, feet come off and then dropping the knees over to the right this time. Extending that left arm away. And you can use that right hand on top of that left thigh, if that feels good. And then maybe you want to close your eyes. Thinking about that outer left hip moving away from the left shoulder. So trying to open up that left side of the body. Is there anything you can let go of here? Relaxing the face, the shoulders. And then let's bring the legs back through centre. Uncross the legs, bring the hips back towards the middle here. And then let's take both legs up towards the ceiling. I'm going to flex through the feet. So this is somewhere where if you had a block, you could pop a block underneath your pelvis or a cushion, or you could actually go and take this off the wall if that is, um, if that's what you'd like to do. So it's a variation of Viparita Karani. So very, just a mild inversion here and turn the palms to face up. And got, eyes can just stay gazing towards the big toes or you could close the eyes. Just allowing the lower belly to fall back in towards the spine. So 
three more full breaths here. Let's bend the knees, place the feet down, and then letting the knees drop open into your Supta Baddha Konasana here, recline butterfly, arms away from the body, palms facing up, just closing down the eyes. Just allowing the legs to be heavy. When you're ready, let's extend the legs out long into your Shavasana. Just taking some time, make yourself feel comfortable, make sure you're warm. And this is somewhere if you had an eye pillow, you could pop your eye pillow on. Let's take a deep breath in through the nose and then out through the mouth. Once again, deep breath in through the nose. Out through the mouth. Just allowing the breathing to settle back into its natural rhythm. Some breaths might be short and some breaths might be long. It's completely surrendering the weight of the body. and allowing yourself to come to complete rest for the next few minutes. Please feel free to stay resting here for as long as you would like to. If you're ready to come to a seated position, let's start to deepen into our breathing. You're using the breath to fill the entire body.
Yeah, then bending one leg up at a time. Just rolling over to the side of your choice. Just staying there for a few moments. And then starting to make your way up to a comfortable seated position. Just allowing the eyes to stay closed. Just gently following the breathing in and out through the nose. Bringing the palms of hands together in front of the chest, and bowing the head down towards your hands. Thank you so much for joining me today. Namaste. I'll see you tomorrow. Thank you so much.